this is just breathtaking. This is a breathtaking noodle scene. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are back in China, Guangzhou, the land of Cantonese cuisine, and I am so pumped because today we're gonna go for a full-on street food tour. Check it out. This is Guangzhou, home to the best Cantonese food in the whole world. You can travel here to eat and experience tons of delicious street food and fine dining all in one day. Today, we're taking you with us to eat six amazing street foods. So make sure to watch this whole video because you're not going to want to miss any of these beautiful delicacies like dim sum heaven, bouncy noodles, and a nighttime street food scene like no other. Let's eat. All right, before we get going on this huge street food tour today, I have to give a huge thank you to this episode's sponsor, my buddies over at the Cheddar YouTube channel. They produce a ton of amazing content and they just put up a video about the economics of New York street food. So I know you love street food, we love street food as a community, so you're definitely gonna wanna go check out that video in the description below and subscribe to their channel. Now we're gonna go for a big street food tour. Check it out. Make sure to go subscribe to the Cheddar YouTube channel right after watching this video. First up, we're going deep into Guangzhou's back alleys to catch a rare glimpse at making traditional bouncy noodles with a bamboo pole. Awesome guys, it feels so good to be back in China. We're gonna go to a classic joint that's making noodles the traditional way with a bamboo pole. And I am pumped to see how they do it. So we are in the wonton joint. Just look at the big menu here. A lot of different stuff you can get with wontons and noodles. But I am really pumped to try the Jiajiang Yundun Man. So a mixed braised pork sauce with wontons. Ni hao. Ke yi chi Jiajiang Yundun Man ma? Yi ge da fen. Ke yi. Ke yi. They just told us that we can actually go in and take a look at how they make these noodles. Ni hao. Hello. Oh, ni men zhe zuo Yundun Man dui ma? Yeah. Fresh wontons. Oh. Awesome, but this is just the true beauty right here. All of these handmade noodles ready to be boiled quickly and look at all of the handmade wontons. This is a true sight to see and we just got invited to go upstairs and see how they make them with a bamboo pole. Ni hao? Ke yi kan ma? Ke yi, ke yi. Awesome, look at this. Oh, look at this. Duck egg noodles, we're making it. Incredible. Wow, look at this, guys. Handada. Look at the big bamboo pole here. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. So, you can use your own food. And you Oh, This is very difficult. This is not very difficult. This is very difficult. How do you do it? This is like this? Oh! It's like one of those uh, playground... It's like this. This is 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 like this. So it has a better mouth feel by doing it with a bamboo pole. I'm just going to watch how the master does it here. This is just breathtaking. This is a breathtaking noodle scene. We're making Cantonese noodles deep in the streets of Guangzhou. This is what it's all about. So we've seen hand-pulled noodles up in the Xinjiang and Lanzhou, and these are handmade noodles with bamboo deep in the south here, right near Hong Kong in Guangzhou. And all of China really has a huge variety of different flavors and types of noodles you can have and that is the true beauty of the cuisine and the diversity of cuisine in China. Make them into sheets. Oh that is beautiful. Oh wow, interesting. In the kitchens of Guangzhou. So we're taking a look now at making the noodles into these clumps. And this really is the soul of so many dishes, 
So many noodle dishes you get here in Guangzhou. After finishing making the noodles, we made our way downstairs to see the huge selection of toppings to go right over top of these beautiful boiled duck egg noodles. Oh, that's brisket. Oh, so that is the bean paste, chili, and pork. Oh, dachang. Intestine. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, thank you. Two of them? Two of them. Look at that. With the zajiang, the braised ground pork sauce. I'm sure there's a bit of juyo lard in there. And then over here, a nice bowl of wontons. All of this is handmade dough, and that is gonna have a real mouthfeel. Oh, it's so fragrant. Oh yeah. Oh wow. It really is all about the mouthfeel of those noodles. They're slightly springy, fairly soft, and the sauce, oh, the sauce is amazing. It's actually slightly sweet, slightly spicy, and slightly salty from the bean paste. So there's a lot of aroma in there. After trying the amazing wontons with a strong shrimp roe stock, we wanted to catch a little more action deep in the streets before going to Guangzhou's most classic and famous Zhao Cha restaurant for a huge dim sum brunch. So we went deep into a back market and got super lucky to find an amazing street stall serving up a ton of famous Guangzhou nut porridges. So we've just stepped into a local market, downtown Guangzhou. Oh yeah, all the color. And we are gonna go deep in here, explore, walk around, and see what we can find to eat. Oh, look at this. What do we have here? Ni hao. Lei hao. Lei hao. This is This is Zhima Hu. Look at this, Zhima Hu. Oh, Zhima Hu. Sesame paste. And then this is what? Oh, so look at that, guys. Xingren, that's almond. That's like an almond paste. Almond stew, almond soup almost. Wow. Can you like how to do it? Oh, Ludo. Oh, so a green, green, pea, green bean and red bean stew. Oh, Hong Dou Sha. This is Zhu Jie Chu, right? Yes, it's Zhu Jie Chu. This is Zhu Jie Chu. Oh, so green veg and green bean porridge and and stew. This is Hua Sheng Hu. Oh, Hua Sheng Hu. Hua Sheng Hu. Oh, so it's like a peanut, peanut stew. Then this is Lu Dan. Jiangzhu. Jiangzhu. Oh, Zhu Jiao. Oh, yeah. Zhu Shou. Oh, there's Ji Dan. Zhu Shou. Okay, so it's stewed pig feet with vin with vinegar and ginger. Oh, oh, and xiangda and eggs. Too big, too big Wow. What can I eat for one fenjiga? Can. Too good. One fenjiga, then one fenjirmahu. Oh, this one, this one. It is so good to be back in China, and this is where you get the good stuff deep in the markets. Oh, look at that pig foot. So pig foot, egg. Actually, you can really smell the vinegar and the ginger. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, look at that. That is the hei jirma. Hei jirma, tang, bai mi, dui ma. Oh, that is a beautiful concoction. Zai jili kui jirma. Hao, xie xie ni. Xie xie lei. Zhe ge shi zhu jiao. Ai. Ran hao jirma hu. Jirma. Awesome. Put a bit of sugar in there, black sesame, and then look at this. Stewed. Pig's feet. You can see all the gelatin on there, and you can really smell the ginger and the vinegar. That is pig foot, pure pig foot. And look at the skin. Oh, that is pure fat. Oh, that is pure jelly. It's almost like you're having a ginger candy with the essence of pig feet. Let's go in for that German. Look at that thick sesame paste. A little sweet, but it's more of a hearty strength feel to it. It's powerful. Thank you, man. Next time. Next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. People in China are truly so friendly. They wouldn't even take our money even after the camera stopped rolling. 
And next up, it's very important to feast on dim sum on any trip to Guangzhou. So we went to the most famous and oldest dim sum joint right downtown Guangzhou, the Guangzhou Jiujia, to enjoy a huge dim sum brunch straight from heaven. One thing you have to try in southern China, in Guangzhou, of course, is dim sum. We are right downtown, right up ahead is the most famous local dim sum joint, Guangzhou Jiujia, the Guangzhou restaurant, right here, classic heritage building, and we're gonna go have a feast. Awesome. We're going up to heaven. This is the classic Guangzhou Jiujia. Three layers of dim sum heaven. Look at this. Here you can see all the locals feasting on dim sum. Really nice scene here. We got our number and we're gonna order up a ton of classic dim sum. After waiting for your table, you're given a menu you can tick off your favorite dim sum on. And when in doubt, you should order the classic quadruple combo of Xiao Mai pork dumplings, Hagao shrimp dumplings, Cha Shao Bao barbecue pork buns, and some steamed chicken feet in a beautiful black bean sauce. There's nothing better. Oh, It's all here. Thank <laughs> Just look at this guys, we've got a full on Cantonese dim sum feast. We've got the ha gao, shrimp dumplings with a rice flour wrapper, classic siu mai, shrimp and pork dumplings. We've got cha shao bao right here, barbecue pork bao. And then we've got another classic dish over here, feng jua. These are steamed chicken feet. These are usually fried and steamed, so they get a fluffy, so their skin gets really nice and fluffy, and they're covered in a bean sauce. And then we've got liu xia bao, which is egg filled bao. Should be oozy, gooey, slightly sweet, and full of flavor. And then another classic dish over here. This is the xia chang. Little shrimp rice noodle rolls covered in a light soy sauce. These are turnip cakes, fried turnip cakes. And we've got some classic Chinese Portuguese egg tarts. Oh, look at that! Oh wow! Oh the spring, the springiness of the shrimp. The shrimp is just bursting from it. Definitely full of flavor. They put a bit of pork lard in there. So you've got a pork and shrimp combo. And the shrimp are just so springy. This is just incredible, <laughs> this feast. You can eat a lot of delicious dim sum just like this at the Guangzhou Jiujia, all solid nine to 10 ranger ratings, especially the slightly spicy chicken feet, the sweet and oozy liu sha bao, and the gloriously juicy xiao mai dumplings. But since we were in a rush to cross the city to go try a famous niu zha stall, AKA mixed beef organ stew, we finished up quickly and made our way over to try one of the most iconic Guangzhou street foods. All right guys, next up, we are in a little neighborhood. Right up ahead, there is a famous niu zha joint. Famous mixed beef organ stew. Sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's not so good. So right up ahead, we're gonna go try it out. Look at this, guys. Wow, Oh, the throat. Oh, the stomach, the du. Lots of cool stuff here. That is mianjin. I think that's actually considered just gluten in English. There's the lung, there's the, the mianjin. I think that's gluten. There's the stomach, the intestine, the, lo the lung. Oh, nega Oh, oh. Wow. There is a lot of different organs in there. And, oh, the throat. Look at the throat. It's all in there. <laughs> wow, yes, yeah. This is the new zha. Look at that, guys. That is just full of tons of different organs. The beef balls, the fish balls. Wei la. Okay. And then we're gonna. Oh, nega lai dian. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of the wei la, just a bit. You don't wanna overpower it. Spicier chili sauce. 
Beautiful. <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Let's try it out. <laughs> yes, yeah. What's your ramen? Can you? Can you? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So we're gonna sit outside and enjoy this new ta. Full of beef balls, fish balls, mianjin, which literally translates into gluten balls, I believe. There is the throat. There is radish. This is the underlying flavor here. This radish. And of course, there's beef brisket. There's a lot going on in there. I think there's the lung. A little bit of light chili sauce on top. Oh, and a little bit of intestine. There's also tripe in there. This is beef organ power. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh, it's just so smooth and rich and aromatic. The beef, it's just like an upgraded, complex beef stew with lots of organs. But there's no organ odor. It's just smooth and satisfying. You can taste that underlying radish aroma. That really is nice. And mmm. How chida. Mmm. Tai how chila. After saying bye to the boss, we made our way for our final street food of the night. A Guangzhou favorite, Bo Zai Fan, aka clay pot rice. And when you explore the streets and see something this beautiful with all the flames and all the bubbling clay pot action, you gotta stop right then and there and order up a bowl. So we are in a local little neighborhood now looking for dinner and I think right up ahead there is a Bo Zai Fan place, clay pot rice. It's gonna be really good. Beautiful clay pot rice. Look at all the ingredients in the back that you get to choose from. There's all the different types of blood and organs and fish balls and beef balls and oh. But the classic is the lap mei one, which is pork sausage, duck sausage, and pork and duck mixed, I believe. Absolutely beautiful. So I just ordered up the cha shao lap mei, which is barbecue pork with oh, shijukuma. Oh, shijukusha wadama. Oh, which is barbecue pork with a few different types of Cantonese sausage and cured pork. Oh, this is a sight to see, a true spectacle of joy. That one is ours. Oh, isn't that beautiful? The lap mei fan. The lap mei fan. Oh, nigga should jiang yoma. Jiang Yo, oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Cheers, Jenny. Kai Piao Liang La. Oh, look at that. Wow. Lap Mei Cha Shao Fan. Isn't that beautiful? This is a sight to see, a true spectacle to see. Look at the variety of meat there. We've got cured pork, La Ro, looks very fatty. We've got Cha Shao, barbecue pork. Oh, beautiful. And then we've got classic Cantonese sausage that should be slightly sweet over top of rice in this clay pot with soy sauce. And that is gonna be a true flavor combo. Mmm, mmm. That is a true flavor delivery. The sausage is slightly sweet. That Cantonese sausage, that's what it's all about. Slightly sweet, the cha shao pork, juicy. And the rice, you can really taste that light soy sauce. It's just pure fragrance, juicy, fatty joy. <laughs> what an amazing day here in Guangzhou. Have to give a huge shout out to our buddies over at the Cheddar YouTube channel. They have a ton of amazing content. They just put up a video about New York street food. I know you're gonna love it. So you can check out the video right over here or in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to their channel. Thank you so much for watching these street food videos and what an amazing day it has been here in Guangzhou.